Hello, thanks. Well, my name is Herbert Owen, and I will present the work I have been doing with Dominic Ernst from the Fredericks Alexander University in Germany uh, in the, from the No Level Optimization Group. So this is Alia towards Exascale, and we have worked in optimizing the finite element assembly that is the, the key kernel in, in a finite element simulation done by Alia. This is part of the ECHO project, the Energy Oriented Center of Excellence. Unfortunately, it's no longer on the list of Center of Excellence because it has not been granted the extension or the third part. So, well, Alia, I guess that several of you have already seen things about Alia. It is a multi-physics simulation code developed at Barcelona Supercomputing Center. Yeah, it, it's multi-physics, but perhaps the most uh, common simulations are fluid dynamic simulations, as the ones you see here. And well, it has been it has been proved in scalability up to 100,000 cores, actually even in production runs, runs for 24 hours in Marnostrum. And it is part of the unified European benchmark suite for both CPUs and GPUs. So within ECHO, the energy-oriented center of excellence, we work in wind energy. And this is a simulation of, of the flow over complex terrain. This is what we do. Uh, well, I'm very happy to work in this topic. I'm a mechanical engineer, and I work in computational fluid dynamics in general. But I'm very uh, happy to work in this because it's, it's uh, wind energy, and it's one of the ways we have to fight against climate change that I believe is one of the biggest challenges that we have now and that we are living for our children. So I'm very happy to work in this. So going directly to the numbers, since the talk is short, yeah, so I have been working on the optimization on both uh, GPUs, mainly on GPUs, and this was our initial version, yeah, and the timings. So uh, this was run in an A100 GPU, at Fredericks Alexander University, this is the closest thing to, we have to the next minus room five. Yeah, it's an NVIDIA GPU. And we have managed to optimize the time from 3.7 seconds to 0 0.05 seconds, 74 times. This is the execution for the main kernel that typically takes around 70% of the time in a fluid dynamic simulation. Yeah, and after the optimizations we did for the GPU, we realized that most of them were also suitable for the CPU, and we managed to optimize 6.5 times for the CPU. Yeah. And perhaps what is more important is that if, if we compare our initial uh, implementation, it was running 4.7 times faster on, on, the, on the CPU. It was faster on the CPU using uh, well, one A100 GPU against 72 cores from an Intel Xeon Platinum, a very new one. Yeah. And now we have managed to be 2.4 times faster on the GPU. So this is perhaps the most important number. Yeah, and from this, I did some estimations, energy estimates, because I understand that Exascale is all about energy, being able to, to run things, but using much less energy. So we have the power consumption that we can get from the top 500 list, and we can uh, uh, know exactly how much each node consumes. And so we can do the math, and we can see that we can uh, run the same simulation in 21 joules in the GPU against 82 joules on, on the CPU. This is, we are four times more efficient on the GPU, and this is very important. Yeah, and, and actually this number is very close to the power efficiency ratio that one can see in the uh, green 500 list, yeah? So in this way, we can say that we have obtained an optimal uh, GPU implementation for low order finite elements. And actually, before we started this work, it was not clear that low order finite elements could run optimally on GPUs. So, well, I'm, I'm very happy about this. And actually, I am a mechanical engineer, so this is 
Well, now I feel I'm really a computational guy. So now, leaving the technical stuff and moving to the more political things, and perhaps here are the bad news. Uh, Europe says it wants to be a leader of the Green Revolution, but then if one compares the budget for wind energy, HPC for wind energy, yeah, and ECHO is the main project in this topic, yeah, it is 10 or 20 times smaller than what is being spent in the United States. And even those numbers in the United States are from the, from the Trump era. Yeah? We have written a position paper yeah, between ECHO and the uh, European Energy Research Agency uh, stating this and several other problems that we face. And finally, we got a very positive feedback for ECHO 2, but even before the final review of ECHO 2, uh, ECHO 5 had already been uh, evaluated and rejected. So, well, I'm quite unhappy about this and let's hope we have another opportunity. So, well, this is all I have. Thank you and, well, I'm happy to receive questions later.